Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Oh my goodness, we got a bunch of mods today. New and updated ones are out now for Farm Sim 22. 31 mods were released today. Can you believe it? All platforms got 24 new and three updates, and PC and Mac players got four new, so a lot of new ones today. Of course, in the video, we'll take a look at all the new ones, plus customization, and we'll review every mod that got an update. If you want to find something, timestamps are linked below. Let's jump right in. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have a mod that I didn't know was going to come out today. The Lone Care Trailers Pack from 82 Studio. In here, we have three trailers, uh, style A, B, and C. Uh, it's trailer A. A has got an option of the deck. We also have the gas tank. We have the tip side box. We have the tip side box with the gas tank. Tip side box Unreal. That's going to be 280,000 as opposed to 2,800 liters. And then uh, we have a 1,200 liter fuel tank that we could do there. We've also got the enclosed trailer. It closed with gas tank and back down to the deck. You can also see here there looks like some small ladders on the very front. These actually unfold to the side, so you can pull a mower on the back and a mower on the side. Wheel brands, we have Midas tires. We also have Trailboard, BTAT, and that's it. Design, we have uh-uh and uh-huh. And attacher type, we have gooseneck, bumper pull, and bumper pull number two. That's going to be a little bit higher, maybe better for tractors, things like that. Main color options, we have... Oh, well, all of them, Nitro Blue Aged is generally what I'm going to go for here. Enclosed body. Now, we don't have the enclosed body on there, but when we put that on there, we can change the color. We also have a cover, which we're going to change to yellow again. Nothing there. And the rim color is, of course, rim color. We're going to go with a purple there. And yes, my license plate does say Hot Rod Ham. Check out the Hot Rod uh, first look from yesterday. So let's go back up here and let's go to options so as we put things on you can see the closed trailer then has that <laughs> on the side and we should also have at least i think design no not through there floor decals aha so this is very interesting you see that's kind of like cut into the trailer yeah that's really super cool we also have design number two which with my colors doesn't look great it looks like a cartoon wall uh then we have lizard lone care there and uh even a little bit bigger if you want it to be a little bit bigger it does look very good it does look very cool and then from the inside even you can see we've got the grass that kind of shows up through there that's really neat so there you go that is all of that now let's go back out let's go to our options and let's find ourselves our tip side box now cover here yes and no we can add a cover to that if you want to and so you're good to go so that's all the options for the long care style a if we jump over here to uh b you can see it's pretty much identical so you're gonna find all of the exact same things all throughout which is cool we even have some lighting options on the back that is neat. And then uh, lastly, trip C, we've got Tipper, Tipper with a gas tank, Tipper Unreal, 828,000 liters, which makes this, I believe, the largest trailer in the game. I could be wrong, and, and I may be if I am, let me know, but that's a lot. That's a whole lot. We also have the gas tank on there as well. If you guys want to go with that gas tank options, you could change that up with a couple different designs. Uh, decals, we could do the lizard lawn care, but that's the only one. Attachment, bumper pull, bumper pull high, and gooseneck. Cover, of course, yes and no. And then we have main colors, cover colors, and rim colors. Uh, these are some super duper epic trailers. You guys have been asking for them. And they are here for everybody. Another trailer that was released today that you guys have been asking about is Mac Trucker 921's Stone Picker trailer. This is a 16 meter rock picker, a 43,400 liter capacity. We could bump that up 75,000 or 150,000. We also have 200,000, 250, and back down. So, all the way up to 250,000. If you need 250,000 liters of stones, uh, you're on the wrong map. Uh, Wheel Brands or the right map? Who knows? <laughs> We've got Lizard, BKT, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Nukin, and Trollabarg. We also have Vredestein, Elmers. We have the crawl tracks on there. And back down. Look at the difference between these. Goodness gracious, that's awesome. I'm going to put the Elmer tracks on there because they just look good. Rear hitch. I'm yawning. <laughs> How am I going to yawn with this? So we have the uh, no, we have the ball hitch, which is added to the back. We have a pin hitch or nothing. Why would you need to? Well, maybe you want to put a fertilizer spread or something on the back of this. Do two things at one time. Rock and roll cover. Yes or no. That is going to be a really neat cover. I like that. Uh, chassis color. Oh, those are a lot of colors. 
Tell me that's toothpaste. It says green too, but we all know what that is. A uh, tipper body cover. Let's go with an orange there. Cover color, uh, yellow, just so we could see it. We'll go ahead and add that cover to it. Uh, spiked roller cover. I want to do red. Not as cool as I thought it was going to look. And rim colors. Let's go metallic green. Metallic. Well, we have track so there are no ram colors nonetheless you can see lots of customization options lots of really cool stuff and it's a 16 meter rock picker rock and roll man we've got a new monitor on the seat today dins d or dins d-i-n-c-e they've released two mods the first of which is the john deere 9rx series 2015 as you guys know we have a 2022 i think or 2021 uh, in the game but here's the 2015 model 462 horsepower it's the e18 transmission uh, 1490 liters of fuel 24 mile per hour it also weighs 25 tons engine options we can bump that from 462 517 572 627 it's 670 yes we got that 96 20 on there track setup we have standard wide three meter three meter wide Row tracks, row tracks with the three meter, narrow, narrow with the three meter, and back to standard. Tons of options through there. Versions, we have a stock EU, stock US. We have EU number one, EU number one with a tractor triangle added on the back, EU number two, which includes our flags, and then we have the triangle and the flags. We also have EU three, which has the stuff at the front and all of the above. Then we have EU three with US flashers. Then we have US, US, <laughs> <laughs> EU3, uh, stock EU, stock US. So lots of different options through there. And I mean it, lots of different options. Beacons, we have one on the left, one on the right, both of them or neither. Starfire, we have the a holder for it, but not it. We have 3,000, um, 6,000, and we have a couple different options. I'm guessing these are with monitors. Yeah, different monitor options. And do we have the 7,000? Oh, we do. Yeah. We've also got that with the RTK, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then nothing. Side panels. We have standard. We have new side panels. And back to standard again. Mirrors. Again, standard ultimate, ultimate electric, and back in. Additional lights and tow rope. So we have additional lights that are added. Then we have the tow rope, which is added right here in the middle. Doubt that does anything. And then additional lights with the tow rope both you know what i'm gonna select both because i want to see if it does anything exhaust we have short long rain cap back down a uh, carpet and decal we have no window decal which gives us john deere on the very back carpet which is added carpet with the decal and both gen 4 monitor this is going to be on the inside again i'll see if i can uh, select it you can see we have different options 41 42 and 46 front weight standard means nothing but we could do the bracket for it 300 1300 17 18 and back down so full weight on the front steering knob you can add one of those if you want to seats we have seat colors uh what's the difference one leather and standard i guess cloth and leather and then we have our license plate lots of stuff through here there's a ton of options and i was kind of wondering i was like ah another 9rx uh but yeah another 9rx and i'm totally cool with it uh, but that's not all they brought us today. Oh, and uh, before I forget, I also want to let you guys know that this is prepared for a lot of mods. Uh, it is prepared for Dashboard Live, Interactive Control, Passenger Seating with Kubota DLC, and Precision Farming DLC as well. So, a lot of stuff through here. As I mentioned, they've got another one for us, the John Deere 9 RT. 2015 so you guys want the older one well here you go uh, we're gonna see a lot of things that are similar so engine options starting there we have 517 572 628 and back down so we do have the big uh 9570rt on there uh track setups we have a standard standard number two which changes things up a little bit standard three which adds like a little weight holder something like that in there uh then we have with weights we have with weights number two on the outside and then a couple different options through there now do we have wide tracks yes we do we have all those with all the extra options which is very cool and the back down to standard versions we have stock us and eu and then we have all kinds of different versions through there beacons left right both and neither starfire options looks like we have every single option that we do with the other one side panels same thing through there mirrors same things through there uh lighting halogen and led that's a little bit different very cool uh, exhaust and tow rope so uh yes exact same thing through there uh carpet and uh, steering knob all of those 
those are together. We have the same monitor setups. We have the same attachment options, which is cool. Is that three, three point back hitch? Hang down now. Okay, so you could do it with or without the rear three point. That's cool. And then we have the same seat color. Uh, this one is also prepared for a lot of stuff. So dashboard live, interactive control, uh, Kubota DLC passenger script, and precision farming. A ton of work went into both of these, so definitely check them out. If you want some more green, well, here you go. The John Deere 8700 SLC. This is from Cola Modding. We talked about this a little bit in Farm Sim News. 225 horsepower. We can bump that. Uh, say, well, what do we have? Uh, we've got a couple hydro setups. All of these have exactly the same option for transmission as well as the engine. So really, it's just the look you're going for. Well, brands, we have Midas, Michelin's, BKT, Continental, Trelleborg, and Vratastein, as well as Lizard. Now, I'm guessing Lizard's got some pretty wild stuff, and that is accurate. There you go, Crawler Track. Yep, going back to the Crawler Track, I like that. A canvas pipe. Uh, short and long, beacon lights, yes or no. We've got one on the front and the back. PX antenna, we've got left, right, both, or neither. Exhaust chrome, short. Where is this at? Aha, there it is. Short and long as well as curved. Getting them all there, aren't you? Flag, we have Brazil flag on there, Argentinian, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Gu Guyana, Paraguay, Peru, Venezuela, um, Suriname, Uruguay, United States of America. I just realized those were out of out of a uh, view there. Germany and Nada. So we hit a lot of uh, South America at least. So that's good. Uh, we also have main colors. We could go with like a, a really old used color if you want to. Canvas pipe color. We could change that up as well. Red looks interesting. So we'll just go back to the yellow seat cover or seat color rather. Blacks, grays, browns and beiges and then we have rim color itself we could change that up if you want to very cool through there then we have two headers we have a grain head the slc 323 1.8 tons seven meters at six miles an hour old and new decals as well as the same color options and then we have the 6.1 meter six mile an hour corn heads all kinds of stuff through there it also does sunflowers very cool. Next, we've got a classic old tractor. This is the Lizard D22. This is from Stefan or Stephanie Monning. 22 horsepower on here. Manual transmission, 40 liters fuel, 13 miles an hour, and it weighs two tons. There are no customization options, but I know if you're like me, you want to hear this thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm still gonna meet me for him. Yo, even the brakes are squeaky. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Love it. Next is the Tatra Phoenix Rudolph pack from HR Force. This is another mod that we talked about at Farm Some News a while back, and it is here. So we basically got a truck and a trailer that match up. And do we have the extra hitches? Yes, we do. So you guys can make a really cool looking European road train or something like that with these. 462 horsepower. We can bump that to a 650 if we want. And then we have manual versions of each. So automatic, manual. All is good either way. Will Brands, we had Lizard, Continental, Nokian tires. Hey, hey, I love that. And then back into Lizard. We're going to go with the Nokians today, and we're going to stick with those TR12s. This goes 49 miles an hour, and it will hold 80,500 liters. Now, we've got a bull bar option for the front with some lighting. Beacon lights, yes or no. Headlight protection, yes or no. Cover color so we can change that we've got a color for the cabin itself we've got a color for the extension which is going to be the metal around the trailer and then we have main color which i'm guessing is gonna be yeah the trailer color and then of course rim colors are rim colors also i've seen a comment somewhere that said youtubers are the worst at picking out color combinations yeah, just try to get through it. All right, hey, let's go. Let's check this out. Do some more terrible color combinations. 18,500 liter capacity on here as well. It does look like the wheel brands and options line up, if not perfectly, almost one to one. And then we have the exact same color options to cover extension, main, and rim. I'm guessing the extension is going to be, yeah, that's going to be your metal around. So that is very cool. There are no unrealistic capacity options for this. I know those are becoming very popular recently. However, this truck 
and trailer do not support those. If you thought we were done with vehicles, not even close. Actually, this is the last one. So yeah, we're very close. The Lizard CF210. This is from Pascal Kautz. Again, another mod that we talked about at Farm Sim News. And it is meant really for container stacking. You could probably use it for other stuff as well. However, that's what it's really meant for. It is a big heavy haul so it's 17.6 tons by itself it's got 210 horsepower variable transmission 80 liters of fuel and it goes 32 miles an hour which may be a little bit quick for this thing well brands we have the nukin michel or midas uh, continental Rodestad bkt uh in there some of those that don't have options don't show with wheel setup actually most of them don't show with wheel setup unless a uh, design we've got without windshield and grid and with it main color we have all of the above pretty much in the rim colors we've got those as well i do want to lease one of these because i'm just going to kind of check it out sound is very very nice up and down through there and then up now you're supposed to be able to stack three of these on top or three containers on top of each other uh, and it looks like you can do that. It is adjustable, so you go through there, and it is also adjustable side to side. So, very cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this thing's super cool. Next, um, again, another mod for Mac Trucker 921. We have their 40 foot lizard flatbed auto loading bell trailer. If you guys know them, you know that we've got the 30 foot. And we have the 53 foot. Now we've got something nice and happy in the middle. You can also see it does a lot of different stuff. So all of your round bells, including cotton, all of your square bells, including um, your, well, cotton there as well. I think it does baby bells too. 15 cattle, 64 pigs, 56 sheep, and 15 horses, as well as up to, is that a million? That's, oof. That's a million, uh, one million liter capacity. Let's show this off because there's a lot of stuff here. We have the flat frame. Then we have the flat frame with a rear ball hitch or pin hitch. Then we have the gooseneck frame attachment. Then we have the gooseneck with rear hitch, ball hitch, auto loading for bales. Then we have that with hitches, all kinds of stuff through there. Tipper body, 77,920 liters. Uh, then hitches on the very back with the gooseneck. Uh, and all the pin hitches, log forks uh, with rear hitches, gooseneck, all those extra hitches. Uh, we've got the enclosed trailers, and then we've got the animal trailers. And then we're back to the flat frame again. Each one of these has different options. Of course, we have uh, loading ramps, and then we also have wood or stained natural uh, that's it actually. <laughs> We've got colors for your chassis. We've got colors for the wood stain color, for your rim colors, all kinds of stuff through there. If we, let's see, let's go to something that's a little bit different. We've got the auto loading bales through there. The tipper body, here we go. This will work. So we've got a cover on the top, yes or no. Uh, discharge speed at two, three, four, uh, just to how fast it dumps out capacity. We could bump from 77, 920 up to 250,000. Uh, 500, 750, and 1 million. So remember when I said David's trailer earlier? Yeah, they got taken over pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> then we have through all the rest of the stuff there as well. Let's take a look at the, I think it's the animal one. Yeah, log forks here. Uh, this is just going to be regular colors. And then we have our enclosed trailer. We still have the wood type on the bottom. Uh, we have stainless steel, jet black flat, gloss, polished aluminum, galvanized chrome, and then we have quite a few colors through here. Uh, actually, all of our colors are here. So you're not actually choosing a color. You're going through all of the options for the color. That's very interesting. What else do we have? What else do we have? Couple of other options. Livestock trailer. Uh, this, I assume, is going to be the same. Yep, same. So make sure that you guys are doing the right stuff through there. Nonetheless, very, very cool trailer. A lot of options. And another one we've been talking about, the Jan Tanker 10500 or 10,500. Uh, we can bump that up to 14,000 if you guys want to. Uh, it's got two options there. I guess they're just different wood grains, possibly. Could be a uh, wheel brands. We have a lizard. We have rice wheels, number one, number two. BKT, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Trelleborg, Vradastein. Uh, in here, we do have quite a few different options for stuff. So uh, bump through there. We've got different rice wheels, as we talked about. Rice wheels number two. These are going to be, I guess, backwards. I don't know. Uh, BKTs look good as well. Box model, we have a default. We've got the Inox, whatever that is. I think uh, just metal. Uh, decal models, we've got a couple different decals all the way around. Accessories, we have rod. Let's see. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, it adds, adds a couple little stuff through there. Cover tarp, yes or no. Main color, you can actually change this to, looks like whatever you want. So let's say you're running a, a Case IH farm. Let's go over here to Case IH for the main. Uh, for the tarp cover, we would go with like a dark gray. Uh, tarp with border color, uh, black, I guess. And yeah, no rim color. Very, very interesting. I would have expected that. Next is the Lizard Multis Van Svans. It looked like multivitamin at first. Uh, Twenty-one th or twenty-one hundred liter capacity. We can bump these up. Uh, these hook up via a three-point. Uh, now we could go with a front loader, wheel loader uh, with those as well. You could change that up, and we have different color options for the main thing. But what is this? Well, it is a staple in Norwegian at Norwegian Agriculture, produced by a Norwegian brand. Uh, well, they say Lizard, but it's, there's a PC-only version coming out a little bit later in the video. Uh, these just go in your three-point and allow you to do stuff. Uh, you've got manure in here, grass, hay, straw, silage, chaff. Uh, we also have uh, root crops and um, rocks, which is eh, very cool. So you could use it to move those things around. Got another mower for you. The Pottinger Novacat 302ED. This is an 80 horsepower, 3 meter, 13 mile per hour max speed mower. The D er, design on here looks really, really good. However, there are no customization options. This is meant for the back of your tractor. One brand that normally doesn't get a lot of love when it comes to mowers, John Deere with a 1365 mower for fast farming. Uh, by the way, I haven't talked about them in a little while on Farm Some News because it looks like they deleted their Facebook uh, account. So uh, I can't find them. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Nonetheless, 90 horsepower on here, three meters at 13 miles an hour. Again, it's another trailed mower. Uh, this one's got its own little trailer set up, so now you gotta just pull it around. Trillaborg, BKT, Lizard Tires, and back in. Uh, would be cool to see some Michelins on here as well, but I think that's just personal for me. Rubber extensions, no or yes. We have the conditioner extension, yes or no there as well. That's really cool. We also have decals, new and old, there on the front. Oh, not just new or old, it looks <laughs> the, the decals themselves are Actually, just beat up. Love it. Toolbox, yes and no. We got the toolbox on the very front. Warning triangle on the back, yes or no. Beacon, we even got one of those on the side. And then working mode. So we have standard and we have grouper. Now this is going to kick it off. Looks like left and or right, depending on what's going on. Main color, we have a, a little bit newer, a little bit older. And that's it. Very cool. The John Deere 1365. I know a lot of you guys are going to be happy about this. Next, we have the Vaderstead Rapid A600S F on M. Now, there's a couple different ones. So, we have the regular S, we have the F, and the M or the Multi. So, let's just start with the regular one, the 600S without fire extinguisher or with it, without wheel wedge or with it. And I don't actually know where this is. Aha! On the very back. The wheel wedges are just there. Got it. Main color. We could change this up to a lot of stuff. Uh, we've been talking about John Deere, so we will change it up to John Deere. There you go. Looking good. I could have used this on my uh, playthrough on uh, <laughs> uh, Court Farms. Nonetheless, there you go. So there's that. Now we have the multi, which adds in fertilizing. So we go from 16,100 liters for seed up to 23,300 for fertilizer. Then we could keep all of that. But we also get the ability to plant pretty much everything. So uh, you can see here at the very bottom, it's added corn, sunflowers, sugar beets, cotton, and potatoes. So not everything, but quite a few things. Uh, having something like this, super overpowered, especially in new farmer mode. It's not that bad, 80 grand. We've got some new chainsaws, another mod that is very, very, not represented, but hey, we got them now. Uh, the Husqvarna 545 pack. Now I'm having a hard time figuring out what the difference is between both of these. I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me. Uh, they're both 545s, one's 700, one's 600. So, uh, what, it's all good. We got some new chainsaws. Rock and roll. Run, run. Jump it over. We do have a new map for you guys for all platforms. It is Erlingen. Uh, not to be confused with Erlingen, which is where Giant Software is located in Germany, or at least their German office is. Uh, this is a small village located in Bavaria. Uh, somewhere between Erlingen and Felsbrunn. Let yourself be charmed by the realistic environment of this valley crossed by the Grunberg River, where you will certainly find a place to your liking to settle down. This is their first contribution to farming simulator, and with that, uh, well, 
Every new mapper for some reason is including lots of buildings. We have 10 that you guys need to download for this. I didn't have all or any of the 10 installed, so uh, you may not either. The main farm's gotten 15 cows, free range pasture with 60, and a sheep barn with 65. Pig farm with a large pig stand with 270 pigs. Contractor's company farm, equestrian center with stables, eight horses, uh, free range pasture with eight horses there as well. Greenhouse cultivation area, 69 fields, nice. Uh, nine meadows, three vineyards attend forestry areas with one plot with a generator multiple selling points of course custom productions no sugarcane or cotton so heads up there and german license plates you can use the different buildings when buying the corresponding plots all you have to do is climb into your favorite tractor and set off in your search of happiness in the fields of arlingen <laughs> there you go uh, here's everything that you own uh, farmland number one number four Number 95, and well, 95 is across the road from itself. That is going to be your greenhouses there. If we jump over here, we've got a field. So you only start one, two fields. We've got two fields there. Uh, we got a barn with a workshop, diesel coop, uh, farm silo, multi fruit, and your hayloft, as well as your farmhouse. As far as what we get in new farmer mode, that's going to be uh, Fit Vario 313, as well as the 20 or 724. Now, Harvester's going to be that Doys Far Top Liner as well as 2017 pickup. We got the Velger trailer. We got the header. We've got a small plow as well as a small cultivator. We do have a, a power harrow, which hooks up to our cedar, and we've got a fertilizer spreader. We do get a front mower, so nothing crazy through there, a tatter and a windrower, and we've got a loading wagon, which is kind of cool. And then we've got a front loader, front loader tool, which is going to be the fork with grapple and a header trailer. It's a nice little map. I think it's pretty good for the first time around. Not too bad at all. Jumping over to our placeable bonds. We have the Cow Barn XL from FSG Mining and FSG Tasman. What up, dudes? Yo, this thing is absolutely massive. If you guys know FSG Mining, they make a lot of wild and crazy stuff. And, well, this is no different. Uh, treat this like a placeable that's on your map. Even though that's supposed to be a slurry pit, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have dug that into the ground instead of somewhere that I raised up. Now... Coming through here, we hold a lot, 500 cattle, automatic water supply, 400,000 liters for food and manure and liquid manure, 200,000 liters for straw capacity, milk is 200,000 liters as well, wind turbines located on the roof somewhere. <laughs> Where are the wind turbines? Maybe they're on the other side? Maybe they're this? I feel, I feel like they're that. Uh, those make $250 an hour which is cool. It's also color selectable in like a bajillion colors. It's, it, it, it's 22, but it that's a bajillion enough. So all kinds of color options. You guys could choose whatever you want to through there. You'll be good. Uh, do we have bright red? We've got bright red. So there you go. If you have their red barn pack, this will match up with that pretty well as well. Super cool mod absolutely epic good job fsg next we've got a mod that has the same word twice in the title large big old chicken coop or large old big chicken coop uh, large big means the same thing just letting you know we've got owl through here please please there we go yeah two thousand chickens so maybe having large and big in the title is worth it. Uh, all through here, we've got places for your eggs. We've got your chicken places in general, places to feed them. Uh, we've got open areas here where we can open these up. And you can do whatever you need to do with your eggs once you got that. Feed goes over here. And rock and roll. Now, this does remind me of a mod. I think it released back at Farming Simulator 19 from Black Sheep Modding. It's not exact, uh, not even close, uh, but at least the idea of it reminds me a little bit of that. It is from uh, VX Mapping. Now, one quick heads up with this one. Uh, they say that the chicken coop can be mulched uh, 20,000 liters and produces manure, but you need to place an extension down. I'm not sure what mulched means. They do say, careful, the basic set does not normally support straw and manure for chickens. So uh, manure production and straw consumption will only work on maps with animals.xml customized or with the mod enhanced animal system, which unfortunately is mostly going to be PC only. Next, we have the machinery shed and workshop. I do feel like we saw something I don't know exactly like this, but something very, very close to this a uh, few weeks ago. But it's very cool to have other options. So you can see in here, we can drive in, work on your vehicles, do what you need to do. A lot of stuff in this one. However, on the other version, 
not a lot of stuff. It does look to be uh, EU inspired, so should match some of your buildings on maps like that, but uh, I mean, it'll look just fine no matter where you are. Back over to cow barns, we have the Phibe Cow Shed from Sully. Now one of these is green and one of these is blue, but you can't really tell unless you get right up on them. Uh, otherwise, they kind of both look the same color from far away. They're very dark. Uh, these will hold 25 cattle each. Uh, dimensions 26.7 by 11.1, .1, so nothing wild and crazy. A uh, 6.7 meter height sliding doors at each end, two feeding gates to open manure spawn points in the shed itself, which is very, very cool. Light switch, automatic water. And of course, we talked about the green or blue. Next is the UK style small shed pack. Very, very nice looking sheds through here. Uh, 10,000 and 15,000 dollars respectively, 10 bucks a day for either. So there you go. I mean, nothing nothing too wild and crazy. We do have collisions on the side, but you can go through. Yeah, these look very nice. Next is gonna be the Polish fence pack or just Polish fence in general. We have the fence. There you go, looking good. We have a small pedestrian gate. And then we have a small machine gate. So there you go. Nothing too wild and crazy. Just a very, very actually really nice looking gate pack. Fence pack. Crap. Next, we've got one that we have to go back into the mod up for. This is the plant protection products pack. What alliteration. <laughs> so uh, through here, we basically have uh, herbicide and liquid fertilizer, but uh, it's kind of neat. So uh, this is for sprayers, stuff like that. Modification adds two new products in two different sizes. Uh, we have 30 liters and 30 liters. All right. Um, <laughs> with these, once the sprayer has been filled with the product, it'll allow you to fill it to capacity. So. That is cool. So we have all of those things and we even have a little garden hose right here to fill up with water. They do say containers with uh, measures can be found in the category pallets. Garden hose can be found in containers. So there you go. And your last new one today for all platforms going to be the US road sign pack. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, let's see, we got the stop, stop sign ahead, deer. Uh, that one may be pretty cool. Attention stripe. Uh, be prepared to stop. So yeah, I mean, these look like normal road signs that you would see. One way, hate those road signs. <laughs> it's got two lines, let's just go. Of course, we've got some farming stuff in here as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, wrong way, of course, 50 mile an hour and 35 mile an hour. And then this isn't part of the pack, but it's always just fun to see. <laughs> All right, let's move on. That is a lot of new mods, but we only have like three updates for all platforms. The first one is the Case IH Magnum 34400 Series Special Edition FL. It's from Mag Trucker 921. It's one of my favorite mods on Mod Hobbs. Version 1102 fixed an issue that the front loader mount would cause some tools to stick to the mount when detaching when configured with the front loader attacher, particularly his own FS22 large shovel mod, which is kind of what you want to use for this. It's good that's fixed. He's also fixed the issue where the capacity of the saddle tanks would still show only HUD while not configured with the tanks, fixed the issue that the saddle tanks were unable to be unloaded, added unrealistic capacity configuration for those tanks, added many additional color choices, edited the engine sounds, and fixed the engine model decal showing wear the metallic look when worn. Next up from custom modding their Agco Vario 1000 US series, this is version 1101, fixed the fender visibility and added the Dimco 1200 gallon side quest attacher. Very cool. And your last update for all platforms today is going to be for the Northeast End map. This is version 1001. Well, it says 1001, but on the thing it says 101. I don't know. Uh, the update list, it says fix farm silo triggers, fix farm house and diesel tank in second farm now work, removed lamps in field 79, fix some dips, remove double silage in the forge, change clover and dry clover huds, and other Additions. New save game is required. Jumping over to new ones for PC and Mac players. It's going to be your last four mods of the day. Compost is the first one. This mod adds compost to the game, which like manure can be used as fertilizer on fields. There's three ways to get the compost. Number one is by buying the bag in the mod hub. You can buy eight of them at a time, 1,000 liters each. Number two, we have a compost station. This can be found in containers and it looks just like a normal silo. So you can buy it there. And then there is a fourth, say fourth, third, definitely a third. Third way to do it. 
over here in compost, uh, we have the bunker silo here. All biomass can be dumped and processed through fermentation and to be converted to compost. So there you go. And it, again, it works just like manure. Next, we have the Fossa Inc. DL or LT51 550 trailer 7.5 thousand liter capacity and it is pushed down to the max right here uh, extension we've got that if you guys want to throw an extension on there go from 7.5 thousand liters to 9 thousand liters we have decals of old and new rear lights we start at number one but we can go with number two as well which look like led lights working lights we've got those as well main color all of the above design color which is going to be your frame and decal color, which are already red, but we'll make those uh, well, right there. And then, of course, we got our rim color and a new cultivator, the Bomet Comma U757-1. 88 horsepower required for this 3.6 meters and nine miles an hour. Rollers, we have yes or no. That's going to be on the very front. Stickers, we've got old and new. Those are going to be two different designs. And then we have the parts color. And it's going to be all your rollers and, well, all of the parts. There you go. And your last mod today. As I mentioned, there are a modded, or not modded, a, uh, a PC version right here of the uh, Underhog Multi Svans pack. And here you go. Here it is. Exactly the same as the crossplay version. Just says Underhog. Or however you say that. Well, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like. I don't need to get get it. Do join to go ham fam. Do the notification thing. And remember, uh, English is important, and sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> check out today's farm some news if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, just hope you have a wonderful, awesome rest of your day. We'll see you later.